watching the life's journey. Um, if you're new here, click subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're my regulars, hey, how y'all doing? So today, I'm doing a kitchen makeover that I got inspired by a woman that I watch on YouTube. Her channel is Creative Minds. You might want to go check her out. So, um, as you can tell, I got everything off my countertops. I sprayed them down and cleaned them. This was the only thing I was able to find in the store. Fantastic. Um, it does move grease. So, you know how sometimes you get backsplash on the wall of grease. So, that's what I'm using that for. Um, so, I took everything down and wiped down my cabinets. I um, took off my outlet covers. I'm not sure if you can see. I just unscrewed them. And what I'm doing now is just spraying down my wall, going around the whole kitchen, my rag here, and just wiping them down because you want them to be clean before you apply the wallpaper. So, the wallpaper, this is, um, I got from Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree makeover, kitchen makeover. It's about $5, but I got five of these. And it's not the best looking. But I think it's going to do good with far as how my cabinets are and countertops. So this is the best that I think that um, is going to match up. So after you clean up the wall, and then I'm just going to go around and measure. But just to show you, that's how it's going to look. Let me see. Let me slide it over a little bit. Let's see. That's how. I think it's going to look pretty good. Once I get, um, I'm gonna do this like gray and like it's gray and like a light blue. Yeah, so those are gonna be my kitchen colors. So I think once that's up and I get some accessories here, we'll start looking good. So after um, you wipe down your walls, clean them really good. Then you're gonna um let it dry. I'm going to let mine dry for like probably 30 minutes and then I'm going to come back and start measuring out my wallpaper and start applying it. It's just a peel and stick so it should be easy. Okay so once I'm done cleaning I'll turn the camera back on show you before I apply my wallpaper. Okay it's been about 30 minutes. Let me move my camera because I'm going to start with this section over there in the corner. So I've already put this up here and then I kind of just like measured where I want to cut. So on the back it has like um, the measurements so I just put a little thing here with the marker. I don't know if you can see it. I just made a little line. Where is it? Right here. With the marker and that's where I'm going to cut this. I am not a crafty person, but I'm going to do my best. I got a blade here, so I'm just going to cut across on that line. first piece here and like I said this piece right here is going to go right in here right there like that okay so it has some backing to I'm try to peel this to get it started and I have like a um a squeegee thing, but I can't find it. So I'm gonna use this, you know, to get all my bubbles out. I'm just taking down a little bit of it, not all of it. I saw people um, doing this too. That the good thing with this is if 
you peel it, you can just peel it right off and replace it. If you put it on wrong. So there. You just put down a little bit and I folded it down to keep it in spot. And I'm going to try to get it on here as close in the corner as possible. There we go. And then with this, squeeze you don't get to see but my um this is gonna be my squeegee <laughs> i'm going to pull i'm gonna go like this to make it flat as i'm pulling the paper off the backing <laughs> make it smooth Pulling it as I go. anybody could do it because I am not a crafty person so I'm gonna um I'm gonna hopefully I can see that I'm gonna keep going and then I'll put the camera on when I'm in a better angle for you guys to see a little bit better how I'm doing it let me get this corner done first So this is why I should not be doing this. Let me show y'all what I did. Because I have this big light switch right here that I cannot take off. It's a big block. So I can't take the faceplate off. Well, even if I took the faceplate off, it's not going to help because it's a big block, right? So I have my paper here. Look at that. I measured it. I cut a piece out. Perfect. See what I did? I put the, the circle. Oh, that's why I shouldn't be doing this. I put I cut it on the back, so then when I flipped it over to use it, that piece is on the wrong side. So I'm just gonna mm. I'm just gonna um oh lord. I'm just gonna cut sugar closer. See, I don't have patience for this. I don't. Okay, so this is how it's coming out so far. I still have my whole other half of the kitchen to do. But I think it's coming out pretty good. I'm getting, e it's getting easier as time goes on with me applying it. So I have three rolls left. I think I'm going to have enough to finish. And then when I have like little scrap pieces, I go in and fill all this up. It's coming down. I think it's coming out good. So I'll show you guys when I'm done.
Okay, it took me some time to get this done, but I am finally complete with my, well, not really complete because I still want to buy some stuff, but I'm done putting up the backsplash and a few pictures that I had. This is how it turned out. So I am happy with the outcome. All the stuff that you're seeing, the backsplash and the pictures, I got from Dollar Tree. So yeah, I want to get some more um, things and some things from my cabinets. Um, I mean, from my countertops. But I'm officially done with my Dollar Tree backsplash makeover. So give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching.